Welcome back to the show. Well, wild scenes as rain and storms have smashed Sydney. Uh, on the city's northern beaches, D.Y. Lagoon broke, causing a huge amount of water to surge out the sea. One older man was caught up in the drama, but fortunately, our next two guests were there. Fabio Silvestri and Eugene Check it out. Lesses. They, well, they ran into the water and managed to pull this man to safety, and they both join us now from Narrabeen. Whoa. Guys, nice to see you both. Just talk us through what happened here. Well, uh, we just like having fun in Jiu Wai Lagoon, and then I was just on my way to try to find another wave when he spotted like this old man, like try to cross to the other side. And I just went to him to try to help him come back to the edge. Uh, the current was really strong, really gnarly. And the water is moving so fast, I could like stand up, like the sand is super soft. Mm. And just like, yeah, when I feel like we, he starts to like uh, drowning, and I just let my boogie go and then try to call the other boys to bring him to the edge. And the older man was just so frightened. He just wow. like, oh, yeah. Fabio, the, the word on the super street. Super as well. Fabio, the word on the street is that you were the, you were the muscles behind the rescue. How do you feel about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I yeah, it's, it's, Carl, it's like I, I, I probably could have stepped in earlier, but then I saw Fabio run over. I'm like, there's no way he's not going to save him. So I waited actually, I was at the bottom, but then the, you know, the surge was too strong and I, I had to help out at the end. But the good thing about that is like, you can still consider yourself rescuing someone, <laughs> even though it's only the last five meters. Like, they did all the work and I just did the last few meters. Yeah. All the glory, none of the hard work. I ah. like that. I mean, that, that's, that's a great approach to it all. I imagine he was pretty rattled by the time you got him to shore. Well, by the time we got into the shore, I was just like trying to rescue my boogie because I was out of the sea. Eugene did the rest. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've never seen a newborn baby, but when I looked at this elderly gentleman, his eyes were just looking up and it was just like, who are you guys and what just happened? So yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, Eugene, <laughs> Eugene it was the look of love, perhaps. <laughs> I, man, if, if it was a look of love, it's probably because Fabio was saving him of all his muscular body and was holding on to him so tightly. And he was probably like, what are you doing here? Somebody else saved me initially. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, it is a hell of a current though, isn't it? Were you, were you personally worried at any point? Uh, not really. We just like spend the day at Bird's back, backyard just watching the ocean. Then you're just pretty used to check the current and yeah, observe what the ocean is doing. Yeah. Uh, pretty confident, yeah. Well, I reckon this bloke will, will be keen to buy your Schnitty and a beer at the Sands at Narrabeen. Oh, uh, you guys be up for that? Wow. Well, <laughs> actually, I'm looking forward to have some Margis at, on the weekend. Maybe some Coco Ho. Oh, some <laughs> Coco Ho. Uh, at, the, at the Sands, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Um, thank you so much, guys. And well done on the rescue. Brilliant. We'll see you at the Sands. Mm. Eh? Saturday Avo yeah. at 4 p.m. Oh, how good does it look? <laughs> well, is that the sands behind us or is that some other exotic beach where Tim oh, is? Oh, just it's tantalizing and taunting at the same time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just makes you want to get your clobber off and. What? Nah. Yeah.